Look, I just woke up. Leave me alone. People who usually speak of Fugar like a pest of the town kiss up to him at times like this. <laughs> well, I guess I'm one of them. Fugar doesn't throw these parties simply to enjoy the drinking and dancing. He just wants an excuse to show off the relics of the Golden Age that he obtained through the wise use of his vast resources. I didn't even hear my mentor's voice. My eyes were fixed on the girl in the photograph. Hair and eyes the color of gleaming silver. A hue I'd never seen before. My body was hot. I still didn't understand what had happened to me. I couldn't look away from her. I just stood there, frozen, gazing like an awestruck fool. Ever since then, I've been having dreams of her. Even when I'm awake, she's all I can think about. This has never happened to me before. In love, me, a guy who's happy with any woman who shows him a good time, in love? What have I come to? that I must rely on fortune-telling. I used to laugh at women who wailed madly over lost loves. Now I'm the one who's gone mad. Their all-knowing eyes seem to have seen right through to my true intentions. No, can't be. How would they know? I only need to remain calm and lie my way through this. This place, this very room. There's no evidence at all here that she exists now. One thing is for certain. She lived more than a thousand years ago. I felt something die deep inside me. Hiding that kind of pain was not going to be an easy task. I know that this girl is someone from the past. Even though I knew that I would never have the chance to meet her, I couldn't just let her be consumed by the fire. I'm not seeing things. And that glistening hair, it can't be Di. It's definitely her. I wouldn't be able to sleep at night. She does indeed exist. Knowing this, <laughs> it made my heart overflow. I was floored. She had a strange way of talking, and her expression was difficult to read but it seemed to show disdain and pity, as if she were looking at a mangy dog. But why Iskandar? Could she be? Nah, I should stop dwelling on it. I was just thrilled that she allowed me the privilege of joining her. What is this gauntlet? Who would make something like this, and why? Whatever its purpose, it's clearly evil. Never, never before in my work did I make judgment of what's evil or good. Until now. What on earth is he talking about? Is he mad? Is this some wildly exaggerated story? Or could it be the truth? Either way is fine. No matter who she is, no matter what she does, I'm going to help her. That's all there is to it. In her usual tone. She told me that she could not go with me. I knew that too. I had no words to offer. As she turned to leave, I went back to life as usual, but something was missing. Dabbling with relics was no longer enough for me. I decided to challenge myself by making something with my own two hands. My mentor seemed thrilled at the idea and gladly assisted me. <laughs> it was a challenge, but it brought me a happiness that I'd never known before. We finally finished. My first creation, made without the relic's power. Oh, I can't wait to show it to her. And I'm dying to hear what she'll have to say. I'm off to be by her side. Hello, I'm Judy. My grandfather runs the Magic Emporium. I'm Judy. Just leave everything to me. This is Grandpa. He'll be 77 this year, but he's still got it. Isn't she gorgeous? That's my sister.
We get a bit of traffic from all these guys coming to see her, but she's oblivious to it all. This is my older brother. I just don't understand why he's like this. This is my dear, sweet dad. Too bad he's the only one in the house who can't use magic. Grandpa complains a lot about him, but I love him so much. This is my mom. When she was young, she was a talented witch. And people even said she was the second coming of the great witch, Alice Ambrosia. Grandpa is very proud of her, so he was totally against her marrying dad. Just wait for us, Grandpa. I'll go find everybody to help get you out of that mirror. Thanks to Kurt, I was able to make it safely through the Jade Forest. But that bad thing, he must be one of Clyde's servant spirits. I was able to see Dad. I fixed the trouble in the village, and everything turned out just fine. But how'd I end up stuck with Armand? And the incantation back there. I didn't like the feel of that at all. What was that anyway? Being separated from my dad made me sad. I must have looked pretty miserable. Kurt tried so hard to cheer me up, and even Armand was a little nice to me. Besides, I can't afford to waste my time being miserable. I need to hurry up and find everybody so we can save Grandpa. It's all right. I know I'll see Dad again. I'm sure I will. Yuck! That same creepy feeling again. Just like that guy's incantation. Oh, I wish he'd stop being such a pig. It's embarrassing. But then again, I shouldn't worry about it. A brother is still a brother no matter how fat he gets. This magic tablet started all this creepy craft. What on earth is going on? There seem to be some secrets hidden in the world of magic that I don't know about. The town used to be lively, but now it's so quiet. People watching the memorial fires. People praying with their eyes closed. Everybody remembering the people they loved. Quiet and solemn, but somehow comforting. In moments like these, time passes slowly. My sister, nothing seems to faze her. She's as calm as ever. But I suppose she just might know what she's doing after all. I asked her why she wasn't worried, but she just smiled and wouldn't answer me. In the end, I didn't get to find out the secret of the magic tablet. If Grandpa or Mom were here, maybe they'd know. Okay, I'd better get going to find Mom. At last! Wow, it's enormous when you look at it up close. But we'll be fine. We've got everybody here. Hi there, it's Judy. My family's back to life as usual. Just as if nothing ever happened. My big fat brother's running around, being chased by Mom's servant spirit. But he still isn't losing any weight. I suspect he's been sneaking snacks on the side. My ever-so-popular sister still gets asked out, but she's gotten better at turning guys down. Even so, she still goes to Beckett's for tea. Dad hasn't changed a bit, but Grandpa has finally stopped picking on him. Mom seems a little nicer than before. She and Dad are all lovey-dovey. She started magic training again, and she's loving it. Grandpa was feeling down for a while. The stuff with Clyde was a big shock for him. But he said he was starting some research on magic tablets. He said he's got to do it for Clyde, too. And then there's me. I think because of all this, I'm more grown up now. Of course, there's more to the story, but I'll stop here. Hey, <laughs> a girl's got to have her secrets. Well, that's it for my story. I hope we meet again. Bye-bye. さて、あなたの運命はと。えこ、これはいらっしゃいませ。何かご用でしょうか申し訳ございません。ありがとうございます。またのご来店お待ちしております。いらっしゃい。お今日はいいのが入荷したよ。おっと、あんたには売れないね。マナリーありがとうよ
はいいらっしゃいどれにするおやお金が足らないよはいどうもまた来てねあらいらっしゃい<笑>サービスしちゃうわよあダメよ売れないわうんお目が高いわねあらもう帰っちゃうのようこそいらっしゃいただいまセール中ですのでどれもお買い得ですよこれ以上安くするのは勘弁してください持ってけたらもうまたのご来店お待ちしておりますいらっしゃい。何が欲しいんだいそんなんじゃダメだね。毎度。困った時はいつでも来いよ。連中好きかって言っておるな。我々の活動があって初めて連中が主役面をしていられるのだ。ゲームの真の主役は我々悪役では。では我らナイト・オブ・ザ・ラウンド・テーブルが主役ということだな。はっ私に決まっているだろう。こう言ってんの私こそが真の主役です。僕みたいなのが本当の悪役ですよ。えい、誰でもいいだろうそんなことだから主役になれんのだ。とにかく連中に負けずに我々も贈り物をせねばいかん。私。ジーン・ムーアがお相手いたします。来い。相手をしてやる。僕と楽しいひとときを過ごしましょう。わしの魔導を味わってみるかね。人よ、私に勝てるか私の実力を過小評価していないか。我らの真の力、まだ知るまい。私の禁じ。受けてみるかねお疲れ様また来いよまた会いましょういつでも来てくださいよくやった頑張ったな素晴らしいなありがとう<笑>ああここにいる全員をクリアして誰が一番面白かったかな<笑>まあ当然俺だろう<笑>何言ってるのよ私に決まってるでしょうちなんか、家族全員で出演したのよ<笑>うるさい連中だ。やっぱり、大人の魅力だろう案外、僕だったりして。ああ、それはないですか。<笑>ああ、ともかくだ。ここまで付き合ってくれた皆さんに、何かお返しをしないといけないだろう。<笑>へえ、さすが騎士様、ギリがたいね。私は賛成。面倒なことを言い出す奴だな。できる範囲でいいんだよ。やろうよ。そうだね。まあ、大したことはできないけどね。<笑>俺に任せとけって。川魚でいいですかうちは魔法屋だから。こんな感じでどうかな俺は運び屋だからな。まあ。こんなもんだろう。ブンドルのは得意なんだけどね。読み書きでも教えてあげようか。僕は冒険者だ。冒険者にふさわしいものでないとな。面倒だから適当に済ますぞ。魚は嫌いですかじゃあ、これはどうですか私のこと忘れないでね。また会おうぜなかなか楽しかったよ。また一緒に冒険をしよう。ま、たまにはこういうのも悪くないか。ま、たまにはこういうのも悪くないか。なんちて。今度、うちに遊びに来てください。なんちて。<笑>